Do you get discouraged, losing motivation, or perhaps you're overwhelmed when it comes to learning a software development? Well, that's one of the complaints or concerns I'm hearing a lot from people who are just uh, starting out uh, or switching their careers into a software development path. And there are a few reasons why that's happening to you, just like happened to a lot of us, including myself. And let me give you tips that help me, and hopefully it will help you. Tip number one, don't learn every technology that is out there and be master of none. And what that means is focus on one thing only. And by one thing, I mean, if you want to be a web developer, stick to web development only. If you want to be a game developer, stick to game development only. If you want to be app developer, you guessed it, stick to app development only. And the reason why you want to do that is because when you go on an interview, you'll see that your interviewer will get confused. Like, okay, I see you do have a motivation to learn programming, that's great. However, how is that valuable to our company? How can I use that? Because right now, I'm not exactly sure what you're the master of. Are you a web developer, a game developer, app developer? What are you? And when you do spread yourself this wide in a new field that you're just starting out, you will see that there's just so many tools Different tools, by the way, they're not just one tool for everything. You're not going to show where to start, what to do, what is it for, do I even need this, is it compatible with something else. You're going to have a lot of questions, concerns, and most of the questions that you'll have, they'll be unanswered. But when you do master one specific thing, it's going to be much, much easier for you to find a job, to impress people, and to develop specific applications that you want. So when you do go on an interview, you can tell them, okay, I've built uh, website A, website B, website C. One is just front end, one is just back end project, and uh, the third one is uh, a full stack. So it's like almost a combination of the first uh, two projects, or more like uh, I took the knowledge from the first two projects and applied into the third project. So me as an interviewer, if I'll hear that, I'll be impressed because it will show me what path did you take to learn new technology? And to be fair, after a couple of years, five years, so whatever X number of years is, if you want to change from web development or whatever you have chosen to be an app development, to be a data scientist, you can do that because you have the skill of learning uh, how to develop applications or how to be a software developer. So it's going to be easier for you to transfer your current skills to something else. And it's understandable why a lot of people do get discouraged is because they don't have the path to follow. So don't forget, focus on one specific thing that will lead you to success. Point number two, slow down a little bit. And what that means is when you are learning a new topic, you want to spend as much time as you can remembering it. Because the one thing happens at the beginning for a lot of uh, beginners is that they get overwhelmed by how much there is to study. I mean, if you're doing web development, you notice that, okay, I need to study front-end, back-end, database, oh, there's also Docker, oh, there's also Kubernetes, oh, there's also like server to study for. There's just so many things to study for. I mean, the list is very, very long. If you go into one of the courses, take a, a look at it. And uh, that's where you actually have to realize that it's not a sprint, it's a marathon to study because all the things you're learning right now will be applicable in the future, in a year, two, three years, depending on what it is, of course. But if you rush it, you will have this small ball that will keep on growing, growing bigger, 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 and then just explodes. And what that ball is, is you lacking the knowledge in a specific area. So try to take your time, because the slower you go, the further you will get. Tip number three, break things apart and do one thing at a time. And what that means, for example, when you're writing code, you don't just write code all at once. You're writing little by little, because if you write little by little, you'll save the code, compile it, making sure there are no bugs in there. You will know that, okay, my code is still functioning. I can continue to the next step. I just create my function. Let me create a loop or variable, a loop in there. Let me save now, run it. And as I'm doing little uh, programming at a time, I'm testing at the same time, making sure that it doesn't break on me. And exact same thing goes at the very beginning when you're starting to learn programming. When you are learning for specific things, so let's say web development, if you want to be a full stack developer, 
You don't want to just focus on the front end and the back end database all at once. You want to break it apart by focusing on, let's say, back end development first. You want to know what is API, REST API is, how is it working. And once you have understanding of it, of how different endpoints work, and then you can move on to a database, creating a, a table, a record in there, a few records in there. How would you connect that to your backend? And once that's done, move to a front end. And by doing that, little by little, you'll become a web developer two, three times faster than you normally would. And that's why a lot of people do lose motivation, is because they're trying to cover all of it at once, and then they just fail because the front end is breaking, the back end doesn't just compile, and the database it doesn't even start. And then you have all these problems, you don't know what to do, where to start, you just close the laptop, you go to sleep, you just say, that's it, I'm done. And those are my three tips. If you try to follow them as you are uh, learning specific uh, thing to be a web developer, app developer, whatever it is that you want to do, just focus on that. I hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.